driving the Z3 convertible a review won't be a review without driving it isn't it so old school so old school so manual so analog the sound it's the inline 4 I understand but you know what um, yeah it feels old school but not to the point of old school of E30 that you fear about uh, rust issues they fear about car breaking down um, the E36 as again is a fantastic platform um, very easy to maintain any mechanic can uh, put their hands on it and fix it uh, solid solid little thing uh, we're going to do a little kind of a bounty roads over here mountain roads I mean mountain pass whatever you call it but look at that so nice guys so nice it's a car that won't put you in trouble again because this 1.9 is just sufficiently powered it is not a overpowering car and uh, lets you feel the rear wheel drive uh, when you go up and because it's a semi trailing uh, arm system and not a multi link like the E36 not as complex what that also means is you have that kind of a half second or quarter second delay when you turn the steering and the back kind of follows through and uh, it's uh, what they say as um, you know, like a Mazda you have that feel of the back kind of throwing in and throwing back out yeah you have that feel so it's quite a quite a interesting and uh, uh, not interesting quite a nice uh, drive uh, feeling because uh, yeah you get that nimbleness from a very active um, steering rack a very common mod is like guys in E36 group they'll remove the, the steering rack from a Z3 and put it to an E36 because why the steering rack in a, in a Z3 is much much uh, faster so um, the nimbleness of the Z3 uh, definitely shows because the steering rack uh, it's a very short car obviously and uh, you can see I can do yeah no three point turns over here just one turn I can make a circle around a road so yeah extremely nice to drive I don't mind the inline 4 honestly I don't mind it because this is meant to be a nice uh, weekend driver uh, you go on to your road to Uliyam uh, with your wife chill out and not worry about uh, cars maintenance don't worry about the cars uh, problems because why the rock solidness of BMW you know it's, it's really apparent in this case car you know if anything uh, why the Z3 didn't sell probably uh, as much as maybe a MX-5 the Miata to me didn't have luxury in it uh, if you think about what you get over here you get quite nice seats quite nice interior wood inlays uh, so the uh, interior space on this car is way more luxurious than a mx5 and if you think about it price point it's also way way better than a mx5 um, but then again obviously mx5 is one of those things that is uh, you can't go wrong with mx5 but you know what i think you can go very very cool with a z3 hope you enjoy the video guys uh, stay tuned I want to bring more of the old car classics into the channel. Uh, if you have any ideas on what car to bring, let me know and I would love to go and review your car out there. Cheers guys. Bye.